हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंटीग्रेटेड फिजिक्स स्टडीज आईपीएस एस एम ऑलरेडी प्लस टू सेकेंड इयर सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर सारी एवं मुझे प्लस थ्री सी बी सी एस अनलाइन क्लासेस भिडियोज गुड़ा अपलोड करी जब भल लगे तेल लाइक करदेव और सब्सक्राइब करदेव जो भिडज गुड़ा मुझे अपलोड करी तार नोटिफिकेसन ये बेल आइकन को अल्रे सेट करदे गोटे इंपोर्टां जिनस भिडज जो थ्री डट्स देखु तार क्वाटी ये देख बै डिफल्ट थ्री सिक्सटी अच्छी तुम ताक पढ़े कर एडवांस क्लिक कर तुम रिजल्यूशन प्रति भिडज पीडीएफ लिंक देवी ताकू ड्रप डाउन लिस्ट रू तुम क्लिक कर डाउनलोड पीडीएफ को लास्ट रे जो मोर चेल नेम अच्छी या क्लिक कर तुम ये प्ले लिस्ट को जाए प्रति भिडज को यूनिट वाइज एज पर सिलबस सजे रखी थी तुम सर्च कर ओके थैंक यू हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज टपिक फर्स्ट लेजर डिपोजिशन मान पी एल डी टेक्निक विषय में पढ़ा which is essentially a physical vapor deposition technique and it is used to deposit thin films on the substrates okay further it is a novel method for manufacture of metal oxide that is mox based gas sensing layers okay so it can also be used to produce nanoparticles of some of the metals like iron silver gold palladium etc and this technique gained importance around the year 1987 when a group of researchers established the deposition of thin films of YBCO that is yttrium barium cupric oxide which is a high temperature superconducting material okay and these films were of better quality than those deposited by other existing techniques okay so there is an advantage in this PLD that is the pulsed laser deposition technique okay now you can see this is the schematic diagram of the PLT system now let us see how it works so here a pulsed laser beam from the port with quartz window having a high power which is around 108 watt per centimeter square and it is usually nd yag that is neodymium yttrium aluminum garnet okay so this laser beam strikes the rotating target of the material which is to be deposited as a thin film right now the target and the substrate are placed inside a ultra high vacuum chamber okay and this chamber actually contain an inert gas like that of your argon or neon also sometimes a background gas such as oxygen is also present inside the chamber which will provide a reactive atmosphere inside the chamber okay thus we can say the deposition can occur in both inert and reactive background gases right now the substrate here is placed above the target at a certain distance in the top portion of the chamber and the highly energetic electrons which are removed from the bulk material by the action of strong electric field of laser will then collide with the atoms of the target and thereby transfer some of their energy to the lattice of the target in the surface region so that it will heat up the surface of the target and hence vaporizes the target material okay now the vaporized material contains neutrals ions electrons etc and the target and substrate the space between these two is actually containing the laser produced plasma plum this one and here plum means vapor okay now the vaporized material deposits as a thin film on a water cooled substrate which is taken for example silicon wafers okay later on the substrate is then heated up in order to remove the impurities okay so the whole process of this pld technique can be described in following steps number 1 absorption of laser energy by the surface of the target then laser ablation of the material of the target and creation of plasma plum then number 3 transport of plasma plum from the target to the surrounding region of the substrate okay then deposition of the ablation material on the substrate and finally nucleation and growth of the film on the surface of the substrate okay so the mechanism which is involved in the process of vaporization of target material and its subsequent deposition is quite complex and it is not very well understood okay so for this purpose 
we must not go into the deeper technical details for this purpose okay now a large super saturation which is occurring on the substrate will result in a very large nucleation density which increases the smoothness of the deposited film okay so a time of femtosecond which is 10 to the power minus 15 seconds so this much of laser pulse are used in order to deposit films having few nanometer of thickness and some of the important parameters that affect the growth process and quality of the film are here given like number one laser fluence then ionization density of the ablated material then surface temperature of the substrate then background gas pressure and roughness of the substrate surface etc okay now let us see some of the advantages of this pld technique that is the pulsed laser deposition technique so first point we can easily control the film structure by variation of the deposition parameters then it will have relatively high deposition rates which is around 100 angstrom per minute then it has large pressure range of deposit materials which is ranging from 10 to the power minus 7 to 1 millibar okay now a considerable degree of freedom in the ablation geometry is possible in the pld process and finally moderation of kinetic energy of evaporated species in order to control the growth properties and growth modes of the film is possible okay now let us see some of the drawbacks or disadvantages of this pld technique so number one it is a high temperature method okay so it requires high temperature then number two non-uniformity in the film thickness and hence low quality of the material is deposited in the film okay then huge is actually mostly confined to the research oriented field okay then an inhomogeneous energy distribution in the laser beam profile will give rise to an inhomogeneous energy profile and hence angular energy distribution in the laser plum okay then finally the large kinetic energy of some plum species will cause re-sputtering and hence defects in the substrate surface and growing film okay now let us see some of the applications of this pld technique number one to fabricate high quality crystalline films then deposition of ceramic oxides nitride films metallic multilayers and various super lattices then production of superconducting and insulating circuit components okay so this is all about the pulsed laser deposition that i have taken from one book now this is what i have taken from another book okay it has also some of the useful points which you can read it and include it in your note by combining from both the books okay you can see this is the image of the plasma plum which is generated during the pld process so i advise you to read from both the books okay thank you